Hello, and welcome to Oxford Plains here in the Fixed Late Model series. This, I don't know what to expect from this. And I say that, despite the fact this is the first track I ever visited in the Late Model when I first bought this car. But I still don't know what to expect here, because this is just, it's pretty strange to drive. And it's been a while since I drove that, and uh, I'm not sure how this is going to end up. We are the number two in a single split, Green flag. Green flag. Okay. as we start qualifying here. Lap. Looks like you just kind of want to keep it on the low side, I guess. Drove a little bit there. It's interesting because I'm actually not. Oh, I got sideways. Uh, I'm actually not using any brakes. It's almost like you want to brake, quote unquote, by lifting off the throttle. Because when you lift off the throttle, it pulls to the left really hard. I guess that's just how it's set up or something, but it's really interesting. So I think the key is just. You know, keep it down low. I mean, this is literally a circle. I mean, not exactly, but pretty much a circle. <laughs> the Oxford Plains is. Very strange track. As many know. Many are aware. And, uh, so I'm really praying to the racing gods that I get the inside. Right now it's looking okay. We are P3. Oh my god. People are like two tenths, tenths faster than me. How'd they do that? That was an all-time best for me, too. That lap I did. I, I know there's, like, some way you can, like, straighten out the wheel and out of turn four and really get a good lap. I don't know anything about that, though. Like, you can gun it and then go out here or something. I didn't bother doing that, though. But hopefully we can hold on to this P3 and start on the inside. I don't think I'll be able to be faster than the 1 or the 3, though. They both seem to be much faster, so maybe I don't even want to get in front of them, because maybe they're just going to get into the back of me because I'm slow, if, if that happens. Hopefully not, but... Like I said, single split, and yet it's a 1.9 strength of field, so kind of top-heavy with, like, the number 1. He's got over 5,000 I rating. But we've got guys down in the triple digits down here. We've got 600. This guy's not here, but 800. And then finally getting to the 1,000 mark there. So there's going to be a wide range of skills out here. 5.3, the, the top guy. So it, it could be interesting if we end up in lap traffic. I'm hoping this isn't just a complete disaster. But I wanted to race this even though it's late at night. I'm going to be pretty busy with work all week, so I can rate. I can only race when I can, you know. It's a Yogi Berra statement. You can only race when you can. Like, no duh. But <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I can only race late at night when we got single splits <laughs> at the moment. So not only is the... Uh, 11 gone, but the 12 looks like they're about to leave, too. What did he say? Anyway, he said... We hold on to P3. I got no idea what I've even got uh, got painted on here. I swear to God, it's like... I think it's like a total car. Keep running, he's closed right now. Okay, I put my great buys back. I don't think we'll use it, though. Forever, I kind of just set them and go. Thank you. Maybe uh, late. I don't know. Maybe it'll get tight or something. Really have to be careful early on, though, because, like I was saying, like it really pulls to the left early on. It seems to be especially bad on the when the tires are cold. It, it like really wants to turn sideways on you if you're not careful. So I'm gonna just be careful not to overdrive at the start and well for the rest of the race for that matter, but especially at the start, so I don't end up looping it in front of the whole field. 
And maybe I'll learn something from watching the leader, since they uh, apparently know how to be real fast. 482 was the pull time. It's pretty darn good. Of course, the uh, whatever he did in qualifying might look completely completely different to what we actually do in the race. Looks like a second gear start. Like I said, I almost don't want to get in front of the one because I feel like he is just going to be a thousand times faster than me and probably not want to wait too long trying to get around me. But I'll do what I can, what I need to do, I guess. And hopefully get a good jump. Get ready. Going green. Getting going pretty quick here on this tiny place. Alright, right, we are off and running. Don't push out wide into this guy. Still there. He's on our outside. Still there. I hope I'm giving him room. It's kind of hard to tell here at Oxford Plains. Oops. He's kind of running into my side. I'm getting thumps a little bit. Settle in. I'm just getting sideways a little bit. Alright. Overdriving, I think, out of fear. <laughs> I'm afraid of the guy behind me. But I guess we're okay. Making sure I don't drift up too much out of the corner. I don't know if tire saving's a thing or not. Could be. Maybe that's why I'm currently pulling away a little bit from the guy behind. I don't expect that to last. But I've just got all-time optimal up right now. Leader gets the bumps a little bit. Just trying to be real precise, trying to get you know that bottom, as close to the bottom as I can without hitting the bumps. Whatever you want to call that. that lap was a 15.8. I don't know, would you call that a curb? I guess you'd call that a curb. Pretty aggressive curb, too. Oh, pushing out wide, unfortunately. Thought I was patient enough on throttle, but I pushed out a little bit too good wide content. there. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Okay, I guess we're doing all right. Oh, we got smoke. Something might be happening. I wonder if I should be using brake, because it does seem like I'm overdriving center just a tiny bit. That was awkward. I took that very awkwardly. Tiny bit of brake. Okay, this slowed down. It looks like the three out there is entering a little wider, so maybe that's the way to do it. Get a better angle on these corners, that would make sense. But I haven't practiced that, so I don't know if that would do me any good. We do have some sort of nonsense going on. I saw someone in the infield. And we have lap traffic up ahead, up there. Car's getting tighter. I'm just here for safety rating, guys, so please don't run into me. I'm just going to let you go on by. The classic, I'm just here for safety rating. Safety rating, you're in a <laughs> Okay. Guy behind's kind of holding now up you're the a that shouldn't even matter six anymore. tenths. Unless you're going for pro, buddy. I don't know. Oh, it matters, man. Trust me, you can go from a 4.5 to an under 2.0 real easy in a matter of a couple races. Is this guy trolling? Yeah, is he pretending not, to care about safety rating and, week, and now I have a making a joke? Or? Because of Hell Dago Hardcock. I don't know. True story, I lost my new license. So we lost a little bit of time there. Jonathan, just race for spot. 
Who cares about safety? Your last lap time I was raced for spots up in my CV and A class. Oh, I haven't got the curb roll bad unless that was some sort of prediction code thing. I'm going for safety rating two. Twenty more points, I get my license back. <laughs> We're going for safety rating, apparently. I don't know if this is the right place to do it. Maybe. We uh, need these lap cars to get out of the way. I entered wrong there, thinking about what they're doing too much. Outside. Uh, we were just here for the safety ratings. <laughs> hey, John, did you do ARCA last week? Um, yeah, yeah, I did a couple of them, but... Um, so far, so good, though. I the other guy was pretty good about giving him room. So I just stopped a while ahead. Yeah. Alright, he needs to get out of the way. Right now. Oh my god, why? Why would you go low? That is the worst idea. <laughs> uh, I mean, it works, I guess, but that was just unnecessarily dangerous. We're okay. We're actually holding off the one back there. We got a little more time. Still around 0 .6, 0 .7 range. I'm still just focused on trying not to overdrive and keeping it near the yeah, inside. Always my influence, you know, I love it. I want more time to practice, but I came in with like... Got two know, people like talking minutes, so. at the same time. I don't know how anyone talks when you're constantly turning, but they're having a full conversation, I guess. Excuse me? Somebody in front of the leader, I think. I only came, came, with like, like, came in with like five minutes, so... Yep, somebody's off know. on a journey. Don't want to fish it too <laughs> off hard. This side. Don't know what it can do, what it can't do. No wall here at Oxford Plains. Very reminiscent of like a Lernerville type situation. Don't want to fuck up anybody's race. Pretty interesting. Oh my goodness, the nine goes off a ramp. This is going to be a bit scary well, like approaching this guy. You're matching race pace. You're matching race pace, apparently. You know, I guess that's a good thing. What are you saying? This dirt track is Lernerville. This is the it's dirt funny, track. I was just talking about Lernerville. Okay, nine oh. needs to get out of the way. Get this out of the way. Please. That's a, that's a wow, dirt track. Car outside. Doesn't really make it easy on me. I kind of have to force my way in, but that's fine, I guess. It's going to park in front of the guy behind me. It's getting harder to uh, not overdrive. I tell you what, it's hurting my freaking body due to this track's workout. Yeah, it makes me dizzy, this place. Tiny bit of break. Kind of wish I could get session last lap up now since we've gotten a little bit tighter overall. But that's fine. Just got to be consistent. Trust that I'm doing the right thing here. Guy behind's catching a bit. That was a 16.3. Oh my gosh, that really pushed out wide. Twenty to go. Got fifty laps here, but they're very short laps. Sixteen point three. Fifteen second laps, almost like uh, a Bristol lap. And yeah, this place has no banking, pretty much. Oh, we got something going on. That car thought he was gonna spin out or something. By the way, he took that. Peter getting by some more lap traffic. What was the in? track we were at in B class a couple weeks ago? Um, the one in Italy. 
Oh, yeah. Like Monza. I did not do that one. Not only do I not own Monza, but I was oh, definitely not buying it for that. Nice. Super Speedway Monza. That yeah, was something. It was Monza. So, yeah, I'm at a 4.5 now, but I almost lost my A license on that one. I won a couple of them early on, and then after that, it was just wreck after wreck after wreck. Yeah, the behind is really catching. I'm gonna yeah, try to hold so my spot here and hope he doesn't just dump me or anything. Uh, his last name's Corn. His first name's Zachary Corn, and he has uh, this YouTube channel <laughs> called uh, I Crash Weekly. I see YouTube that guy spamming his channel all the time. I, I would actually to anyone into iRacing. He's pretty good at putting together like weekly videos. I guess it's working because the word's spreading by his channel. My buddy, I don't know him. I raced against him one time. He told me I went. Nothing gets to him. He's got to do what you got to do, I guess. So I don't talk about my channel at all, but I'm sure I would get more viewers if I did. I just upload and stuff for. Just for fun, and if someone likes it and wants to, uh, and finds it and likes it, whatever, that's just a bonus. Pretty much. I think the guy behind definitely has better tires at this point. I've probably been just roasting the right front this whole time, because I had no technique whatsoever. Related to saving tires or anything like that. It's like the letter I and then just crash weekly. Is the guy behind just gonna knock me out of the way? I actually got him one for second place because I I did a big rant and he booked me in there. I was oh something happened to the leader. Great job, in to go. The gap to old ahead is now one point eight seconds. Outside. Still there. Outside, clear. Hmm. Lap traffic, gotta get around that. Car outside. Still there. Trying to keep it low, I'm just hitting the curb Still a little there. bit, but... Clear outside. Guess I'd rather hit the curb than another car. Went up on the four. Not much left to go. I know. He needs to get out of the way. You've just done out 16.3. Clear up, Tom. <laughs> I didn't want to tap him, but I can't waste any time here. Got someone right on my tail. To go. Five to go? I thought it was less than that, to be honest. So I know these laps tick off really quick. So I thought we were already basically there. That's fine. Hold it together. I don't know if the guy behind me literally cannot catch me, or if he's just being nice and not running me over, and if the niceness is going to run out. No idea. Hey, leader, you need to slow down, dude. It's not fair. Oh, I had a really bad corner right there. That was not fair. <laughs> Let's go. No, I was just making a troll. Yeah, I know. Outside. Clear. Outside. Oh, I don't know how you run that <laughs> line right <laughs> there. I'm trying. I can't run it. Okay, Colton. <laughs> One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. In front is now 2.4 seconds. How are we going to hold on? We hold on, alright. Awesome, alright. I thought for sure we were going to get a bumper. Still don't know if he was just being nice. Good win, three. Good race, good win. Had nothing for the winner who has immediately left. He ain't got time for us losers. <laughs> Uh, appreciate the guy behind not running into me.
whether uh, he intended to or not, it didn't happen, so I appreciate him for that. Uh, we pull it in to P2. Ooh, that was a workout. That guy was right. I don't think I get P2 unless we started P3 and had the inside there. So. Uh, I don't know. Should I, should I thank the one for not running me over? I feel like, uh, I don't know. I appreciate him. I don't know if that would come across as like, haha, I beat you in some sort of way. Like, hey, thanks for not passing me. Like, if he was unable to reach me, I don't know. I'm doing mental gymnastics thinking it would be awkward, but he's gone now anyway, so. <laughs> anyway, I will say it to myself, I guess. I appreciate him for not running me over. The pace car is getting incidents, apparently, as we check through the wrecks. Well, getting a big piece of that herb. Six gets his nose on the four. He's just holding them super tight there. That's that's really tough. So the six gets his nose right there. He's on the inside. Everyone's getting the call. Four just gives him absolute minimum room. And the six is trying his best to stay off him, and that makes him have to get really hard left. And it's because of that that he ends up coming up later in the corner and getting into the four. I don't think the six wanted that to happen at all. I think really the four, in a way, did that to himself just by holding him so tight and forcing the six to really corral the car in order to get, you know, keep off of him and he just couldn't do it. So, I don't know. It's kind of on the six because he ends up coming up, but also the four really forced him into a really tough spot. So that's an interesting scenario there. Pinches him really hard, causes him to get on the curb and push up. That's an interesting one. That's just unfortunate for both of them. How that ended up. Oh my god. What's that? <laughs> the four... I guess he's not expecting to catch the 12 there, because the 12's way out wide. He's like gassing it up before he's even halfway through the corner, and that makes him go way wide, be really slow off pace, but also the 4 is way wide. Like, you don't want to be that wide on the exit here, I don't think. And then they end up getting into each other. Oh, does he go for a ride? Whoa! <laughs> Those uh, dirt mounds can make for some very interesting wrecks. So we've got the leader coming up on some chicken streakers, it looks like. Yeah, we got the... Well, the leader not wanting to waste too much no time. The 9 trying to stay out of the 12, but getting the curb. And the 3 is just knocking on his door because he doesn't want to wait all day. Probably pretty frustrated. The 12 goes uh, for a ride in the sand. It is sand, isn't it? I think that's sand. 7 gets the curb, comes up and gets the 8. I keep it going the right direction, though. 10 turns down into the leader. Does he get an incident from that? Possibly. He got 4x. We had a 0x. That was pretty good. So the leader, lucky to not be taken out by that. Nine getting some more curve. I think they've done that already. Oh, wow. That was the end of the race. Wow, much less contact than I would have expected. So everyone kind of just crossing the line, finishing their race, hitting some curbs. And Finn. <laughs> That's it. Wow, that wasn't so bad. I was worried that was going to be a big circus, being a single split late night race, but you know what? It did a pretty darn good job. There was a couple tough situations with lap cars, but nothing too egregious, I don't think. It seemed like most of the guys did a good job staying wide, 
or in one case going on the inside and slamming on the brakes. I mean, I guess it worked. At least for me, I don't know what happened behind me, but we pull it into a P2. Let's watch the start, because that's what allowed us to get P2. The racing gods were favorable. Just get to the ones inside there. And then thankfully able to hold on. Not letting him clear. You know, he desperately wanted to. Basically do all of lap one side by side. I'm doing my best to keep it down low. Oh, there, there was that situation I forgot about. One's really uh, keeping it tight. Trying to file in. He didn't really need to, though, because there's plenty of space. But just trying to file in. He kind of gets my right rear. Thankfully, he doesn't turn me or anything. And uh, there he was the rest of the race. I actually pulled away from him for a while, but probably because I'm just killing my tires, which were 82-84, by the way. So on the right front, but not as bad as I maybe could have been. Probably just killed both of them, to be honest. So I was not doing any tire saving whatsoever. I was just driving. You might actually want to use brakes here. I don't know. Maybe that's what the fast guys do, though. Get some rotation with the brakes. Probably helps with long run pace. What we watch here is the one kind of keeps a consistent distance behind. He reels me in after a while. And then uh, I just I did my best to hold the bottom. Not open any doors, make sure I'm le I'm having good runs off, so that way he's not able to get a run on me and stick his nose in on exits. And thankfully it worked out. Didn't have any situations where a lap car helped him get around me or anything. And uh, he, was, he was pretty much there, right behind me, but chose not to use the bumper, and I appreciate it, so. That was the race, and that was the race again, and uh, super speed, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching two races, I guess. <laughs> and uh, I hope you have a good one. I will see you next time.